Hello guys, with all excitement, we are here to welcome you to the all new MG1 which competes directly with the likes of the Mazda CX-30, dimension, specs, features and price that we got here. So stay tuned and let's go through this together. Right, so take a look at your screen and you look at the real MG1 that we've seen photos around. That's a new SUV platform launched in China and this is powered by a 1.5 turbo. 181 horse powered engine now so we've got a new addition to the suv class or space or segment okay and is none other than mg's latest one right so mg1 was officially launched in china as an suv that comes with the latest platform the sigma of mg and completes their lineup of suvs this inserts in the middle between the 2020 mg hs suv and the 2028 mg zs which is a model that has a chance to market in thailand and other asian states later this year and other international markets as well All right so what you're looking at on your screen is what we are talking about and is meant to slot in between the mg hs that's on my left and then the mg zs on my right okay so it sits in between and that completes the trio of um you know new suv models based on the sigma platform from mg yes right so let me be a bit specific with what we had from yesterday and for the mg1 it has been released in two versions that um have been decorated in two different styles to meet the needs of customers who like sports and luxury so we have the sports version and we have the fashionable version and you know impliedly that's what it means those who are interested in sporty um, driving vehicles you go for the sports if you are into fashion and luxury and style yours will be the fashionable model which is more luxurious right i will only lay emphasis on a few things here that came out that we could solidly speak to the first of them is the latest platform from mg which is the sigma s s i g m a that will enhance driving performance and more advanced technologies that are embedded in that right now let me be very technical especially with the dimensions because there's an area that i would like to throw more light on and so by this newest suv it has a larger body size than the 2018 mgzs that i showed you okay so this is it right and it's measuring 4579 millimeters in length and 8866 millimeters in width and um, 1601 millimeters in height and ultimately a wheelbase of 2670 millimeters 2670 millimeters right which makes it a direct competitor to the mazda cx30 when it's hit the global markets okay so the cx30 is from the year 2020 and that also measures 4395 millimeters in length which makes it about 200 millimeters shorter than the one or the mg1 that we are talking about right now and then in terms of um um width it measures 1795 millimeters which makes it about you know 60 to 70 millimeters um shorter in terms of width and in terms of tallness it measures 1540 1540 millimeters in height that makes it about 61 millimeters shorter uh, in terms of height um, as opposed to the mg1 and then the wheelbase comes down to 2655 millimeters which makes it five millimeters shorter than that of the mg1 so i mean if you round the figures up they are about close and they fit within the same size and so it makes the direct competitor in terms of dimensions and space um you know uh, accommodation right so that is what it is but let me at this point uh, just give me a second and I will dash on into the overall design of the two vehicles um, that we, 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 we got to experience yesterday. Okay, so, so you, you should just take a look 
and i think area of prominence is the hexagonal grill which is 3d on the um, bubble orange similar in design to the 2021 all new mg5 model so you know it carries on this kind of um, 3d um dimensional grill from the 2021 all new mg5 so that's what you're looking at it comes with a panoramic sunroof as well two-tone body with a black roof sports alloy wheels um you've got headlights um and rear lights with led lights um drl with led also inculcated in the design so it kind of looks modern looks sporty and um you know i i kind of like it i believe you do like the design also so it's it's up up to 2021 it fits in with 2021 designs and it kind of looks more like you know the mazda cx32 right okay now what sets these two vehicles apart that's the sporty and the fashionable um model the difference is actually in the front grille so if you take a good look at the front grilles there's a difference there. the body kits that these vehicles are wearing are also a bit different the sporty one is toned down as opposed to the fashionable one it's got a roof spoiler it's got a red diffuser and there are differences in the alloy wheels um the sporty has a toned down alloy wheel sporty though but um, you've got a more upscaled wheel um alloy wheels on the fashionable one which is the bubble orange and then the other one the bubble green okay right um the interior there isn't a lot of internal details as that yet but it is expected to come in the same form as the 2021 all new mg5 so I'll retro and bring you back the all new MG5 so you take a good look at the internals again, which is modern upscaled and um, you know is up to date also. But the cabin is expected to be larger than what you're looking at from the all new MG5 that came a couple of um, months, um, you know, released a couple of months ago. Yeah, so that's the expectation. You're expecting it to be better, better, um, bigger and more ruby and more techy. Um, in this case right so emphasis will be also laid on the interior materials when we expecting it to have soft touch materials especially on the upscaled one in many of the positions and also enjoy a 10 inch touch screen it should be able to connect mobile phones via bluetooth and it should have support for apple carplay and android mobile phone connectivity which should you should be basic should be standard on these cars now so if you look at the um, 2021 all new mg5 interior i believe is up to scale it should be able to compete and and do better against the mazda cx30 and the likes in in that region right okay so the layout is all good um and this would be for the asian markets i'm sure with international markets there will be some kind of changes here and there to be able to meet the international market um, a lot has been said about the interior i'm sure you are so much interested in what powers it and i think i made a little bit of incursion at the beginning of the uh, presentation that it comes in with a 1.5 liter turbo petrol engine which produces 881 horsepower and will be coupled with an eight speed cvt transmission uh, automatic transmission it will come with a whole slew of security technology that will be um, um, um will be discussed or will be um highlighted in a subsequent video on the same when we actually have access to the definitive details of what was shown to us yesterday right so um that produces a lot more about 54 to 60 more horsepower over the mg5 powertrain i believe is similar in in terms of displacement however the output is a bit tweaked and we've got a lot more on the mg1 than the mg5 um um you know sedan right so that is what happens in the engine room what's that's what's going to be under the hood as of now that is all we have but we also expect to have other variations probably 
um, a hybridized variation or pure electric um, variation by the time all details are out. Okay, so let's expect that. I would only wrap it up with a selling price. I'm sure some of you are wondering, um, and I'll benchmark it with what is possible within the um, Asian market, specifically Thailand. And so for the selling price, if MG1 is entering the market in Thailand, as we are discussing, it is expected that the price come around um, around cheaper than the MG hs and maybe slightly more expensive than the mgzx so we are predicting and forecasting 6.9 um to 8.9 hundred thousand baht i mean 690 thousand baht through to 800 baht which translates to about 20 thousand dollars to 26,000 US dollars okay so um that is what we are expecting you know the price range and that would be several hundred thousand bucks cheaper than its competitor the Mazda CX30 which starts off at about 23k um US dollars to about 34,000 US dollars in this case so we should be you know expecting the definitive price range to fall within uh, 20k US dollars to 26 UK dollars depending on um, the kind of trim that you go after but if you are looking for um, the more premium trim your target should be somewhere around 26k US dollars there about okay so these figures are still not definitive at, at this point in time but it gives us a fair idea of what we are expecting and in terms of how deep it hits your pocket how much your hand will be traveling into your pockets or your bank accounts to secure yourself one of these beautiful um um you know suvs right so basically this is what autostop has for you we're gonna come back with an updated episode as soon as we get more info on the mg1 and um, more technical and specific details in terms of technology in terms of features in terms of um um you know the power train and all that so thank you so much for coming around have a good day until we meet same time again bye bye if if you really are also interested in um these mini suvs you can click on my left to take you to the video of Tigo that we reviewed a couple of days ago and you can click on my right Good day. Bye-bye.